Hello. Welcome to the update on Helicobacter pylori damage. This is some new information that will be encouraging. If you haven't seen our first video, our first video has lots of information that can tell you what Helicobacter pylori is, the symptoms, and the cures. It will talk about gastritis and the various symptoms such as heartburn, indigestion. The first video is information and knowledge based. You can watch it later. This video is about a cure. The bacterium burrows into the mucus layer of your stomach lining and hangs out, causing all sorts of problems. Although 3 billion people are infected with Helicobacter pylori, only about 20% are unlucky and get sick. Most people contact the bacteria from drinking water, contaminated vegetables from dirty water, and sometimes from sexual transmission. In many countries, up to 90% of the people are infected. Even if you're from a country with a low infection rate, you still can contract Helicobacter pylori. It causes many problems for people, but there's hope and a cure. Here's some interesting news about the bacteria which infects 90% of the people in some countries. It causes many problems. The bacteria glues itself to your stomach lining. It's really difficult to get rid of. In 1982, Dr. Marshall, an internist, and Dr. Warren, a pathologist, came up with the idea that Helicobacter pylori causes ulcers. Doctors told people that they needed to relax or they'll cut part of your stomach out with surgery. This is a terrible idea. They didn't realize Helicobacter pylori could be cured. The doctors all laughed at them. In order to prove their theories, they had to test and experiment. And it was illegal to test on humans. So Dr. Marshall drank a Helicobacter pylori cocktail and infected himself and proved that he was right. 24 years later, they were awarded the Nobel Prize for their unbelievably great discovery. It's still not well known, and many doctors don't know about it or how to cure it. People spend billions and billions of dollars on pharmaceuticals that don't cure it. Even surgery can cut it out, but then if there's a little bit left, it will grow back. There is a cure. Actually, the cure is a combination of antibiotics and three other products like proton pump inhibitors, bismuth, that will help to knock this bacteria out. There are some antibacterias that will not work anymore, but luckily there are many that will. Helicobacter pylori also forms a symbiotic or partnership relationship with yeast. Yeast is throughout the body. Many people have yeast infections of many kinds. Yeast is resistant to heat, dehydration, and chlorination. The Helicobacter pylori burrows into the yeast and is protected. Nowadays, so many people travel. You can live in a country with low incidence of Helicobacter pylori, but contract the disease by drinking bad water or eating contaminated food or even sex in a country you visit. If you travel, you may come into contact with this bacteria. It's so common, maybe you already have it. If you get it, see a doctor who understands the disease and you can get cured. I don't want you to become paranoid about traveling. Just be aware and take precautions. More important, and I repeat, if you have problems, find a doctor who knows about Helicobacter pylori and how to treat the infection. It's really easy. I became infected on one of my trips, I love to travel, and I had problems for over a year. 
doctors told me I had all sorts of diseases, or maybe it was psychological, or I was crazy or stressed. Then I went to see the fantastic Dr. Cynthia C. She knew about it. She provided a cure. Two weeks later, I was cured after a year of suffering. I took the quadruple treatment, taking antibiotic, proton pump inhibitors, antacids, and bismuth. There's hope. Don't be discouraged. I know many people that have been cured quickly. It's amazing how serious this bacteria can affect your digestion and your life and your work. Lastly, I still travel everywhere and currently I live in Vietnam in Southeast Asia. I have no problems whatsoever. Maybe my body has built an immunity. Now that you're informed, you know what to do if you start to have problems so it doesn't get serious. Thank you for watching the video on the update on helicobacter damage. If you're learning English or a language teacher, please visit our blog or watch our English language videos at speakenglishtoday.org blog or speakenglishtoday.org or Speak English Today YouTube channel. Thank you.